this is uh, when we had our own police force, we had our own fire department, uh, we had our own water department, sewer department. Uh, so the town was all by itself at this time. Uh, the fire station was on, uh, on uh, Queen Street. That burned down a few years ago. And then they moved it to the firefighters, uh, moved it to King Street, which was the old stable, Green Stable. And uh, Green Stable was uh, completely rebuilt by the volunteers. Uh, the town supplied a few dollars for it, but the firefighters did all the work. And in back of the uh, fire station was the stables. They're all wood, and they were ripped down. And uh, at that time, they had some old equipment they put in there, uh, something like a 1945 Ford fire truck and a, and a 1950 fire truck that in those days was pretty good. And uh, yeah, so that was the, the, uh, the fire, de uh, fire department at that time. And in the back of the town hall was a tower. And that's where they used to dr uh, dry their hose when they used their hose. But that burned down too. And uh, so the, the fire department was all by itself. Uh, I joined uh, the volunteer department here when I came in uh, 64, I guess it was. I joined in 65, but I had to wait because there's other members waiting to join. But I finally got on the department. And uh, let's see, at that time, uh, we had our own pumping station. The water for the town was pumped from the river through a filtration system. That's where the uh, Pump House mu uh, Museum is there now. And uh, sewage disposal in those days was, was the lake. <laughs> Everything used to go in the lake. It's unbelievable when you think of it now. We were only a small town of uh, about 2,500. And, uh, well, in those days, uh, we, we had the one station in the old town. And uh, Chief Don, when I joined, it was Chief Don Sherlock who ran the, the department. And uh, we had about uh, 25 firefighters at that time. And uh, we, in those days, we, we practiced when we could. But it's not like today where you have strict regulations for fire departments where you have to do this, that, and the other thing. Government makes you do it. And, in those days, you did it on your own and did the best you could. Uh, we didn't have uh, the equipment like we have today. Uh, you heard the, the expression smoke eaters. Well, in those days, you went into a building and uh, it was full of smoke. You didn't have a, a, a mask on or anything. You did the best you could or, or put water on the building from outside. Uh, it wasn't until they amalgamated with the... Uh, Township that's back in uh, the 70s when we got regional government that uh, it started developing into a bigger department. Uh, then, then the department expanded to the uh, uh, other three municipalities, Queenston, St. David's, and, uh, and Virgil, became one department. So you put your name in, and if you could meet the criteria that they set up at each fire station, They'd, uh, they'd take you on. As long as you're in good physical condition, you can handle the job, you're accepted. Uh, when I was uh, on this department here in the old town, uh, I used to work with uh, Don Sherlock. And uh, at that time, I was uh, working full-time at uh, the steel company in, ha in Hamilton, Stelco. And I was a designer there. I used to handle all the fire protection work for the steel plant. Uh, construction, uh, design, installation, the whole works. So uh, I had a good knowledge of uh, firefighting and, and working conditions and uh, fire equipment. So uh, Don Sherlock was getting older. He wanted to retire. So they asked him for, uh, for names to take his job on. So... Uh, I guess Don must have put my name in, and uh, I became deputy chief. It's, it's in here somewhere. I forget the date, something like 19, 1980 or 82, something like that. 
So I became deputy chief. So we carried on, and then Don got sick, and so they decided to take me on as a, uh, the, the uh, volunteer chief for all the departments then at that time, which I did while working at Stoco. And uh, I used to be on the road at night and go and visit fire stations and uh, make sure the guys had the equipment they wanted. And then uh, about uh, 19... 1985, 86, 87, I think it's in the book, uh, they asked me to take it full time, which I did because uh, I knew Stelco at that time was uh, in a bit of trouble and uh, going on the road every day back and forth, that's two hours a day on the highway and uh, I always loved firefighting and fire equipment so I just decided to take the job full time. And that's how I got the full-time job as uh, the first full-time chief of Niagara on the Lake. 